Okay guys, in this video we're going to go ahead and learn how to do our Facebook Pixel and connect it to KV Core. So in order to do that, you're going to first want to get to this page. Um, and before you get to this page, you have to have a Facebook business page or it will not work. So if you don't have a Facebook business page, then you're going to need to create that first. But let's assume that you have a Facebook business page. So we're going to get going. Easiest way to do to get there is go to business.facebook.com. And if you're logged in, you'll see something possibly like this. It may not be exactly like this uh, because I may um, have managed other pages in the past. So, but what you will see is you'll see a little business manager up here. Go ahead and click on that. And it's gonna open up a little window and you're gonna see events manager. So this events manager, you're going to click on. And when you click on events manager, it's going to bring up something that looks like this. Yours is going to look a little bit different though. And the reason why is because I have businesses set up for this. You probably won't. You'll most likely have a little green button that lets you set up your pixel. But we're going to go ahead. If you, if for example, you don't have the green button here, then this is where you're going to go. You're going to hit this little button, connect data sources. So you're going to go ahead and click that. And then you're going to click on web, connect your website to share activity that occurs online, including view content, add to cart and purchases. So we're going to click that. Then we're going to click get started. And then what you're going to do is a Facebook pixel. So we're going to click on the Facebook pixel and hit connect. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do your pixel name. You can name it whatever you want. So um, KV um, website. <clears throat> so you can put KV core website. Um, this is optional. If you put your information in here, it may search KV core, but the KV core doesn't offer that. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And what it's going to do now is ask you what you want to do. You're going to install code manually. So you're going to click on this button and click on this green button. Okay. After, after you've copied the code, then you'll go to your KV Core website. So I'm going to open a new tab and do stgeorgelistings.com because that's actually going to go into, into the back office of it. So I'm logged into the back office of my KV Core. And I'm going to go to web and IDX and from web and IDX, I'm going to hit edit settings right by my name with edit settings. Now I can scroll down until I get to custom header and from custom header, you're going to go ahead and put your cursor there and paste. You probably won't have anything in here with that but when you paste it the code will look like here let me show you the code will look like this so that's your code i'm just pasting it in a text editor that's what will go here i already have mine set up so that's why i'm not pasting it there so this is the code that needs to go from my facebook page to kv core and then make sure you hit save. So after you do that, hit save. And once you've done that, then you can continue and it will um, connect up. So you can also use information that your customers have already provided, such as their email address, phone numbers to match websites, visitors on Facebook. This, this will help you attribute more conversions in your ads, which you definitely want to do. So automatic advanced matching you can turn that on and hit continue and then you can launch the event setup so that's how you set up your kv core pixel to start tracking uh, people and your ads and to you can then do look alike and follow and retargeting ads and all of those things so if you have any questions uh, make a comment below i'm happy to help you